Inspector Chairman, Pastor John Chaco, and the guest speaker, Pastor Babu Churian, and Pastor Abraham Chaco, and the region presidents, Thomas V. Koshi, and uh, uh, the secretary, Pastor K.V. Chaco, and all the ministers of God, and brothers and sisters, meet you in the sweet and wonderful name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I consider this as a privilege to be here this uh, evening time to say a few words and IPC Midwest Regions 2012 Conventions. I was told to inaugurate by saying a few words and I accepted that uh, uh, request and I am here in the limited times given to me. I just want to uh, say a few words and uh, the chairman already presented the theme based on Titles chapter 2, verse 13, the blessed hope. We all have the hope. And I was uh, meditating that word. And the second verse says that if you have a blessed hope, you have to, how you have to live a life. It says that uh, in the third verse, uh, uh, denying ungodliness and worldly lust, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world. According to the scripture, if you are not living, if you are not sober, if you are not denying the worldliness, if you are not having the godliness, then we will not be able to fulfill the hope which we have. What is the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ? So I was meditating that word, three words came to my mind from the book of Isaiah chapter 51 verse 9 Awake! Awake! Put on the strength If you have the hope If you are not awake If you are sleeping If you are not putting the strength by the Holy Spirit then we will not be able to fulfill that hope which is given to us and we all are expecting that our Lord Jesus will come yeah. So you for that I pray this middle stage in conversion I wish Make each and every one of us to awake and put on the strength. When we go back from here, we should have that strength by the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is preparing the church. On the other side, the Satan is like a roaring lion, one to devour the children of God. So the side by side, these both are going. When the Holy Spirit is giving the anointing, when the Holy Spirit is giving that power to us, we have to wait. There is a possibility that we can get into sleep. I'm not talking about the physical sleep, spiritual sleep. For a long time in the Christian field, especially as a Pentecostal brother and sister, we get the lethargy, laziness, and we think that oh, it is okay. But the word of God reminding us that wait, wait, be sober, and you have to live a godly life. Otherwise. We cannot go to the presence of Christ. Amen. And how we have to awake? I don't have time to elaborate all that things. Awake from the dead positions. The man of God says, Ephesians chapter 5.14 says, Arise from the dead. So we have a spiritual death happens to many of us. But we have to awake from that. And, uh, and we know that uh, people are getting into that situations. And another thing is, Awake from our sleep. If you are not awake from the sleep, then you will not be able to fulfill that uh, a hope which God has given to us. And you know, the Samson, the mighty warrior, was sleeping on the lap of Delilah, and because of that, he lost his power. So the spiritual sleep will make you to powerless. So we have to put on the strength these days. Awake. And also in the Isaiah chapter 52, verse 1 and 2 says, You have to shake off the dust and you have to put on the strength. So for time being, for many times we in our houses, we have show pieces. But if you are not cleaning, it will fill with the dust. The spiritual life, in our life all the times, there is a possibility, small small sins, small small our iniquities, everything will make it. And so we have to shake off and get up and to be put on the strength. Then only we will be able to 
to fulfill the hope of be with the Christ. And finally it says, put on the strength. The Holy Spirit is helping each and every one of us. Oftentimes we make mistakes. But the Holy Spirit is helping us to be awakened. And the Holy Spirit is the one who makes us to prepare ourselves to be in that blessed hope of the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. I pray that this convention make everyone, if you forget everything, remember at least three words, awake, awake, put on the uh, strength, then that will help you to fulfill this glory or the, uh, the, the hope of our glory, the return of our uh, Christ. Uh, may the Lord help us. I just want to read uh, the Psalms and I will read myself. That is all. And uh, uh, let me read Psalms 100. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with the gladness. Come before his presence with the singing. Know ye that the Lord he is God. It is he that hath made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people, and the sheep of his passion. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving, and into his courts with the praise. Be thankful unto him, and bless his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endureth to all generations. I request everyone to please stand together and praise our God. Thank our God for the life God has given to us. Hallelujah! 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 H